Well, good morning again from inside Union Station. I'm Taylor Hemdes here live where the party is going to be this morning with all these Chiefs fans behind me. This is where you want to be if you're part of Chiefs Kingdom this morning. So many people here live early this morning. So I want to, if we can, I want to bring in Nancy. This is Nancy from Olathe. Nancy's a season ticket holder. Nancy, they're going to be doing these parties at all four cities this weekend or this morning for the Today Show. I can't imagine you think anyone's going to be better than the Kansas City no, party this morning. not at all. Not at all. We are the best. I can't believe, like, there was no chance you weren't going to be here this morning. No. Right? We woke up at 3 o'clock this morning, and we made sure that we were here at the door. What do you think of all these? Like, because you're used to this. You're a season ticket holder. You're there at all the games. You're used to this kind of fandom. But is it kind of rejuvenate you every time you you're around it? I, uh, yes. <laughs> and we want to run it back because we've been, my daughter Lauren and I have been at the Super Bowls the past three games, or three Super Bowls, and enjoyed every single one of them. It's been fabulous. Well, we're spoiled here in Kansas City, and you know that better than anybody. Yes, we are. Okay. It's the Kansas City Chiefs! A lot of yelling this morning. A lot of yelling this morning. We do have actual football to talk about. We heard from Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson this week getting ready for their big matchup. Take a listen. I've admired watching him from afar and know that uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us every time we go up against him. I think it's a great challenge ahead of us. Um, I think we'll um, watch a little more film and see what we can do. Want to start on two shot? So I want to bring in my colleague Claire Bradshaw because as we are joined by these millions of people here this morning with all the excitement, there's, these are all the pro Chiefs people, but there are some pe people that are so pro Chiefs, they're putting some, some bets on the line and some pride on the line, having to wear jerseys, that kind of thing. Tell me about some of the bets you've learned about this week. Yeah, so we have the bets between the mayors. That's right. always a thing, but there's a new bet going on between the best of KC and the best of Baltimore. When we say the best of KC, we're talking about the store and Crown Center. It's been there for decades. So here is what is on the line. Whoever loses the AFC championship game on Sunday. That best of that city is sending the winner a gift basket full of the best of the best. So if Kansas City loses, we're sending Baltimore a basket full of maybe barbecue sauce and stuff like that. The best of owner, Casey, the best of Casey owner, excuse me, Montique Alexander told me this was a no brainer when Baltimore called her up. Normally, though, she's making the baskets for these bets. Normally it's, you know, the mayor's office or somebody else calling us wanting us to do a basket for them to take to whatever the event is, you know. Um, so this is the first time we've kind of engaged in this kind of rivalry, but we're pretty excited about it. Mm -hmm. And we're super excited about our friendship bracelet making. So you just heard friendship bracelet making. This is something fun that they're doing on Saturday. All this is going toward uh, the Ronald McDonald House Charities. Sure. That's where the baskets are going to go. So they're holding an event Saturday for the kids and their families of Ronald yeah. McDonald House at Crown Center. The public is invited to come out, make some friendship bracelets with these families. It's free. It goes from noon to three at Crown Center. And they, that's all those bracelets are going to go into our basket to send to Baltimore if the Chiefs lose, which we're hoping they don't. They will not. No, we love the bets not. with a good mm -hmm. purpose, too, because obviously yes. there's a lot of money and pride on the line, but those, mm -hmm. those bets that end up helping a lot of people are the best ones we'd like to share. Hearted. Absolutely. Claire, thank you very much. Another bet that Claire mentioned a moment ago is the bet between the mayors. That's always a thing. Mayor Q's gotten pretty good at it. He's won quite a bit of food and other items betting with other mayors across the city or across the country. We're going to hear from him today, I believe at about 11 o'clock, of what his official response to the, to the Baltimore mayor will be. Baltimore's mayor, if you didn't see, shot a video of himself pledging to send a video of himself in a Chiefs jersey if the Chiefs win on Sunday. He will also turn Baltimore City Hall red. And he's going to send some seafood to Mayor Lucas as well. 